All clips are recorded on world class, no sliders used, simulated in leagues with small amount of teams to be able to sim through seasons as fast as possible. By the way guys, if you need some coins, check out the link in the description, use the code Johnny at checkout. Hey hey assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me Johnny Sports and today we are reviewing Divock Origi, the player from Liverpool, 19 years old from Belgium, 6 foot 1 tall, left winger, centre forward, right footed, high medium work rates, 3 star weak foot and skills. His best position in my opinion is the centre forward position. As you can see right here, he is a very fast player, has good acceleration on him and also 90 attack positioning which will help you out a lot but the bad thing is he only has 60 stamina and that didn't grow at all the whole time that didn't grow when he got to 86 so that is a very bad thing his strength also didn't improve but we will see how it will turn out in the end let's take a look at his skill attributes this guy has 92 ball control 93 dribbling he has decent shot power on him also 78 finishing still not really the best thing to have with a striker but i'll talk about that later on and in my opinion he is much better in the striking position because if you play him on the left wing position he will be tired very fast that is the big issue with this guy he only has 60 stamina so you will have to use him in a center forward or striking position to go ahead and get the best out of him for the longest time we're starting off with the clips right here so basically my thoughts on on Divock Origi. In real life I really admire this guy. Hopefully he will be the thing that Liverpool is needing at this point. When he gets back that would be amazing but uh, I'm really really divided on my opinion with Divock Origi because he has so many good things and then on the other side you have some stuff that is really annoying. So in the first half Divock Origi is always an amazing player his stamina is good for the first half but in the second half you will have lots of troubles to go ahead and score goals with this guy because he won't be able to run as fast as he did in the first half and basically one thing that i really loved about him is he gets past defenders very easily that's a good thing because he's a bit taller he has okay strength nothing too special i think it's 72 but because he's such a tall player he's really able to get past defenders and also using his pace that is going to be helping him out to get past defenders easily most of the time I was surprised about his finishing he normally has 78 finishing I believe and it felt much better when he got to the penalty area it was a sure goal every single time right here this clip I loved it getting past the defenders very easily with the fake shots but Divac Origi I am still divided on my opinion because you guys know that I hate players with low stamina but I have found a way to play with Origi. You will have to play a formation with one striker and then sub him off after the 70th minute and get in a player like let's say Vilalba who has a lot of pace and gets past defenders very easily when they are tired. So I would recommend using a false 9 formation with this guy. Best thing is to go ahead and score goals until the 70th minute and then sub him off because he might get injured easily when he has low stamina. So basically I enjoyed it a lot to go ahead and play with this guy but I also have to say that there are some downsides of this player because he only has a 3 star weak foot, he only has 3 star skills so in the end he might not be the striker you are looking for but I would definitely go ahead and say try him out and you can also use him as a backup striker that's also a good thing you can do use him as a backup striker i gave him a 16 out of 20 because i really enjoyed his skills but still his stamina and some other stuff were really bugging me like him having only a three star weak foot but i still enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it have a nice day and peace